Shooting Giant Beast out. Now, nah, move inside. Come on, fast. Come on. There's no stranger in this house. There's nobody here. Look here. We know he is here. Don't make us do what he wouldn't like. I swear there is nobody here. Please. Nobody. Where is your room? Upstairs. I'll climb upstairs. Hey. Two seconds to tell us where it is if you don't want to join our sectors. I, I swear, I, I don't know what. There's nobody here, seriously. I... Where is he? Okay, okay, okay. He, he was here. Okay, he, he was here, but. He left 10 minutes ago and he didn't tell me where he was going to. Oh, Gamu could waste this time and come out here. This game is a deceiver anyhow. No, no, I swear, I'm, I'm not deceiving you. you I'm, I'm, I'm not deceiving you. I, I, I forced him to leave I, because I didn't want trouble. Let's go. Oga, we need to stay here, bro. What could you do now? Let's go! to hide enemies surrounding me on every side eyes are open wide looking for me who do I trust who can help me someone's trying to get me down people. Your people? Yes, ma'am. You mean you haven't heard? Heard what? What? That is why the villagers buried your family. Be Be wait, what did you say? You said buried what? My family? <laughs> um, what? What happened? My son. The story has it that some killers from Lagos came looking for you. And when your people failed to produce you, they killed everybody. The village, the whole village, has been mourning since then. <laughs>
I saw the police chase after you, so I followed, in case you needed my help. Come, let's go through. No, I'm not going anywhere. Why? You can't stay here. Mika, listen. Don't risk your life for me, please. Go. I'll be right. I can't leave you here. You must come with me. I can't go with you. Listen, I've tortured you enough. I'll carry my cross alone. We are very sorry, sir. We saw him, but in the event of apprehending him, we, we missed him, sir. Nonsense! That's absolutely rubbish! You think you saw him and you are proud to come to my office to tell me that he escaped? We are very sorry, sir. I wish I have the power, I would have dismissed all of you right here now because you're all useless to the police force. We are sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. We are very sorry. Just get out of my office right now. Yes, sir. Get out! Yes, sir. To run. I got no place to hide Enemies surrounding me On every side Eyes are open wide Looking for me Any move, you are dead Now move it!
What do you have in your boot? Oh, nothing, sir. I just got out of a party. Mm. Let's see your boot. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> Just a matter of time. Hmm? What made you think that I won't get you? Huh? Come here. I said, come here! Come here! Come here! Now listen to me. The next time you try that with me again, I'll be sure I kill you with my hands. Look, my friend, get the chairman of all the local government chapters to stand ready for this meeting on Tuesday. Look, this election cannot be toyed with. I must be the next governor of this state. Anyway, I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye. Hello? Oh, Chief Daniels. Everything is working according to plan, my brother. Yes, that's true. No problem. Yes. Okay. Tuesday then. Bye.
Hello. May I speak to Chief Asato? Chief Collins on the line. Ah, Chief, how are you today? I have got the boy. No, I won't kill him yet until I get the tape from him. You know, the contents of that tape can destroy my chances to the State House. Yes. Yes. No, as soon as I get the tape from him, I will kill him. No problem. Yes. See you on Tuesday. Bye.
<laughs> I like your determination. But I promise you, this is gonna be your last trial. If you don't want your body scattered all over the street. Hey, don't try anything funny. <laughs> now move it. Move it. to escape. I also heard you kill one of my men. That was very stupid of you. I take it as a natural occurrence. Now, can I have a tip? I don't know what you're talking about. I like that. I like stubborn people. People like you make me discover the real me. I give you two minutes to talk to yourself and tell me where the tape is. Two minutes! Personally escorted the ammunitions into this country. I diverted them straight to the village. I hope it is very safe there. You know, these things are worth ten billion dollars. And you know it is supposed to be government consignment. How did you do it? I got some papers. I forged the signature of the Inspector General of Police and the 
Comptroller General of Customs collected original papers from the Defence Minister, and with that I did not find it difficult to divert the ammunition. That's very good. The Minister will be glad to hear about it. Yes, with this we can make the government very unpopular. Yes, we will divert the arms and ammunition to every state of this country. We will cause disturbances and chaos all over the country, and that will make the government most unpopular. What will you gain by making the government unpopular? Need you ask? The military boys are standing by, ready to take over. As soon as we're able to cause confusion and chaos throughout the country, they will strike and the people will shout, Hallelujah! A Messiah has come to save us! Don't you know that we make much more money during military regimes? But you did not tell me this. Oh, it doesn't matter what I told you. I don't want to be part of this. I'm supposed to protect the interests of this country and not to destroy it. By diverting government ammunition? Selling it and getting a share? Is that how you are supposed to protect the interests of the country and not destroy it? I didn't know you were as stupid as that. Anyway, um, just pay my money and let me get out of this. I don't want to be part of this. You are already part of it, Mr. Commissioner. Anyway, how much is your money? Only 20 million naira. 20 million naira? That's a lot of money for a poor, miserable, wretched commission of your type. 20 million naira. By the way, apart from the defense minister and I, does anybody else know anything about this deal? No, only me. Good. Then I have a message for you, Mr. Commissioner. Look. What is this supposed apart to Apart from the defense minister and I, I wouldn't want any third party but come to know our secret. So, Mr. Commissioner, thank you for your job done so far. Stupid Commissioner. You are meant to defend your country. Video man, every other person in this party will be going home with some gifts. So their booths will be occupied. So you should dump the police commissioner's body in the boot of the video man's car. Let's use him. Yes, sir. May I speak with the Defense Minister, please? Chief Collins. Thanks. Ah, Honorable Minister. The deed is done. Who? Oh, I shot him as agreed. Ah, uh, there's a video man here who's covering my party. We'll use him. Oh, we'll follow him up, yes. That's it. Well, we'll pin the killing on him. Ah, here you have to use your power also. Oh, he can't do much. He's a nobody. Yes, with that it's all done. Okay. Yes, see you. Same time. Bye. Hello, everybody happy? Okay. 
Good day, sir. Oh. I've got all I need now, sir. So, when do I get my tape? Two days, sir. Two days? Yes, sir. Got to take it to the studio for professional touch. I see. Sir. I hope it will be good. Why not, sir? Have you forgotten I'm an American trained cinematographer? I can hear it, yes. <laughs> Besides, this is a digital camcorder that I've got. Oh, I see. Have you been paid? Yes, sir. Good. Then we'll see you in two days. God bless you, sir. Thank you.
about the tape now? Or you still don't know what I'm talking about? You called me on the telephone and told me you recorded my private discussion with the police commissioner and you refused to bargain with me. So can I have the tape now? Or are you now ready to bargain with me? What makes you think I would bargain with a criminal like you? Huh? I don't need your money, man. You might bloody well go to hell. I don't care. You and your colleagues have destroyed this beloved country. Don't you realize you are playing with your life? Life? What is life? Am I still alive? <laughs> the life you took out of my sister was a part of me. You destroyed the remaining part by killing my mother and my younger brother. I am dead. I am dead. You are talking to a dead man. I like your sense of humor. But this is not the time for it. Let me have that tape or you are dead. The tape. Death is a meal we all shall eat one day. It comes hot or cold. However it comes. I don't care. You need to take more than I do. And you know the implications. You'll be a gunner if you kill me. But if I live, you might get lucky. So choose one, sir. Nobody threatens me. Nobody. I hold the cards and I play it the way I want. I don't believe in threats. I believe in realities of life. When you leave anything undone today, you must leave. I will give you to tomorrow!
myself, but they would have picked me up and killed me. Come on, tell me where it is. Go! Go! Holding. Let me see it. police stations to see if there's any reports. But there's none. Oh, oh God. Why is this happening to me? Eh? What are we going to do now? Eh? Okay. Tell me, what are we going to do? Take it easy. We will find her. Don't 
Don't you know that I can waste you and damn the tape? You have been surrounded! I repeat, you have been surrounded by the members of the Nigerian Police Force! Drop your weapons, nobody will harm you! Surrender yourself, nobody will harm you! I repeat, drop your weapons! Drop your weapons! You have been surrounded! I repeat, you have been surrounded by the members of the Nigerian Police Force! I'm 